Gemini, there is marriage energy in the air. I was clarifying your cards through the reading because I finished the reading for Aquarius and then I started with your one. And the Four of Wands, which is the marriage card, kept on showing up. So if any of you are open to getting married, you want to get married, you want to meet that perfect person, open your heart to that now. Place your dominant hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath and claim it for yourself. Okay. That just came to me so strongly. Some of you needed to hear that message, Gemini, so I thought I'm just going to put that out there. Um, but let's get on with your reading. So this one is for 10 till 16 July. I already did a July reading for you, so that kind of covers the beginning part of July. Um, so this one is 10 till 16 July. It's a general reading for Gemini and for Gemini placements. Um, take it as it resonates. We're going to take a look at your recent past, your present energy, your future energy. We're going to clarify and then we're going to end up with a message from the universe. So a nice chance of reading. I want to let you know, Gemini, there is a small chance that you might hear some some shouting in the background. Those will basically be my nephews. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. The magician popped right up there for you. Recent past. How many cards are these? Four cards. So stability. Reese, the magician, the queen of cups, the two of cups, and the ace of pentacles. Oh my goodness. Mind blowing stuff. The magician and the queen of cups. This is you creating an energy, um, that version of yourself. And it's such great news that, it's especially since it's in your recent past, some of you had to go through a lot of healing. Some of you had to go really through the deepest, darkest, yuckiest sort of healing, you know, that is so tough to do sometimes. I can see that some of you went there. And you really had to work so hard to set yourself free, to be free. I can see that. And this has in turn here with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, some resolution has been reached here when it comes to love. This can be a very close connection that you have with someone else, so a very, very special connection, you know. Um, it's somehow the energy balance there. So it might be that maybe one of you weren't talking to one another, and there, or there was some friction or, you know, some misunderstandings. One wants this, the other wants that. And even though I feel that you might not want the same things, there is a sense of amicability that has stepped in here, that has opened things for both of you. So I can feel there, Gemini, that maybe you needed to do some forgiveness. Maybe the other person needed to do some forgiveness as well. But there was an energetic tiger that wasn't that was holding you back. And I can see that you've done the deep inner work to release that. Awesome stuff. Really awesome stuff. Financial breakthroughs there, definitely. Financial breakthroughs there. If you like that, you claim that for yourself. Let's see what we've got in your current space, in your present moment, in your now energy. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Wands. This is quite awesome. You see, you are manifesting from the heart now. You are manifesting from a point of light and from a point of um, just spiritually being very grown up. This Eight of Pentacles came through quite strongly for Aquarius as well. Different placement, but still in the present energy. So maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or maybe you've got strong Aquarius in your chart, in which case you might want to look at the Aquarius reading as well. Um, but even if you just want to learn about manifesting from the heart, versus the ego, then you can definitely watch the Aquarius reading because it's being spoken about here, but the vibes you are giving out, Gemini, are positive. And it's because of that healing that you've done there in the past, you know? And there might be one last thing that you are struggling with, one last emotion, that one final bridge that needs to be crossed, and it's so damn hard. But I also see as a victory, I see a solution, I see a healing there for you, you know. With Six of Wands, this is about victory and success in every way, shape and form. Let's put it like that so it's like literally in there. How cute is that? 
victory and success. Claim that for yourself, Gemini, because you've done the work. You basically saw the light. Let's see what we've got for you going forward in your immediate future. You've got how important you are. That's so beautiful. Oh, oh I like this. I like, I like, I like this. So you've got four energy here, the Emperor, which is Aries energy, three of wands, your ships in the harbor and the knight of wands. This is good. This is really, really awesome stuff, Gemini, because this is you going forward, moving forward with such strength and such confidence and such surety. You know, some of you may have been really doubting yourself and you found your light you, 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 in the space of finding your light and finding your power and, and your strength and just your capability of who you are. And even as I said that now, the time when 555 five, five, and 5 is about new beginnings. In numerology, 5 is about new beginnings. And in tarot, it's, it's the new beginnings, but the challenges that goes along with it, you know. And if you even take 5 times 3, it's at 16. 5, 10, 15, 1, 5. And that equals 6 together. And 6 is the magical number in tarot. It's a number about love. It's a number about hope. And there's more 3 energy from that 6. is the 3 of 1s. Your ship's in the harbor. Things are going to go good for you, Gemini. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the Knight of Wands. This is, this is really you. You know, if, you, if you've been feeling sort of trapped, again, this goes along with the Aquarius reading. But if you've been feeling a little bit trapped in your life and you've been feeling... Um, like you can really do with something different or something new, something that really sets your soul on fire. Maybe you've been feeling that you sort of lost your mojo there a little bit. Um, there's definitely a space coming about for you where you really get to celebrate life and the moments and yourself in the way that you'd like to do it. Okay. All right. So... Let's clarify. This is so awesome. So I'm going to clarify the Magician and the Queen of Cups in the recent past first, just the two, because that's sort of how they came out, you know. All right. So the Eight of Wands went flying over there. Some of you, and this is so beautiful, some of you got over your people's pleasing, you know, being a yes sir, yes ma'am type of person and realizing that like, like you can't keep on doing that. It's so amazing. Look at how these cards came out, like on the side. Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands on their sides. Some of you are realizing that you can't be people's pleasing, and so it's almost like your life is going in, like like, um, like your life is going in a different direction than in the past. But you know, it's it's really really nice. And for some of you, it might be quite interesting that there's a sense of belonging that's in your life, but there's a sense of peace. But there's also that electricity, that vibrant feel that something is you know is coming about. And you're not wrong about it. You're definitely not wrong about it. Um, let's look at this Two of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles. Somehow you make peace here with someone. They make peace with you. Quartz or cut. Um, energetic quartz or cut. This could be a person. This could be a soulmate that you're dealing with. Um, and it could be that the karmic pattern you chose was just too difficult. Because I see a definite cut there. But I also see a mending. It's, it's like um, a lot of positive is coming from this you know, from this peace that was made here, especially abundance, the floodgates have started to open. They're not necessarily wide awake or in the, in the recent past, but they started to open. I've got three cards coming out here. Look at all these fives again. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles is all about that mindset, that negative mindset, that mindset that is not serving you positively. You are healing from that. Remember, as I said, you're still healing in the space where you are. The Five of Cups, many of you are revisiting the past. Just be sure not to dwindle there for too long, you know, but you are seeing ways in which you're sabotaging yourself, in which you sabotage relationships, possibilities. And those were all lessons that you needed to learn to be in a space where you are ready now to really, really make that commitment. Remember we said in the beginning, I don't know who needs to hear that, but they, but for somebody that's a confirmation, there are marriage bells in the air. Okay. So that was your current space. And I mean, there's really, really great things about to happen for you. Because if you look at this, so you look at this Ace of Pentacles from your recent past. Then you got the Six of Wands, which is all about victory and success and dreams coming true. And the King of Cups. This is victory and success in all ways, in all shapes. 
love, career, across the board. Okay, awesome stuff. Now we want to see the immediate future, the Emperor, the Three of Wands and the Knight of Wands. We clarify, you're really beginning to, to sort of like beat life to your own drum, Gemini. Like, you know, it's like you are the one who decide about your life. And maybe some of you have had the experience almost like, like somebody else was running your life, you know. Um, this could be a partner or like a home dimension, whatever. But I really see you breaking away from that almost monotony you know in like into the light and you've got there's that ace of pentacles again the world the eight of swords many of you are beginning to see how you were holding yourself back and if you go as you go forward still seeing how you continue to hold yourself back and you know there's the thing about growth if you keep on growing you're going to keep on seeing things within yourself that you're holding yourself back with you know and then you're going to keep on working on that um because for those of you especially that have been concerned about money, um, money specifically, uh, there's a breakthrough in finances there, there's source coming through, there's a lot of things that you may think might, might take very, very long, but because of this healing in mindset, this is what's possible, you know, this quick breakthroughs, because there's uh, some of you have almost been keeping yourself captive, to the past, you know, um, I did such a horrible thing, how can I ever forgive myself, will I ever be successful, do I deserve to be successful, but of course you do, you know, but of course, let's look at, um, just one more card there for that eight of swords, just to see how you're breaking free, <sighs> Aquarius energy, that's like a how many confirmation reference to that Aquarius reading. You are aligning with your highest good. You are aligning with your with your angels, with your spiritual team, basically, Purple Gemini. Where life becomes easier. This is a growing relationship with Source, with the universe, the, the express parts of who you are. This is you living your highest potential. This is what I see for you. And that's what I invite you to open your heart to your highest potential in life. All right, let's see what the universe has got for you. Let me just put this away. And if that was helpful to any of you, my beautiful Geminis, I'd really appreciate you liking the video, giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, hitting that all notification button. For those of you that are already subscribed, thank you very much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's see a message from the universe for Gemini. There are wedding bells in the air. <gasps> That's the third time the card is coming out. This is the third time this card is coming out. The Ace of Pentacles. Financial breakthroughs, Gemini. Opportunities, gates opening for you. And typically, a lot of the things that you're concerned about when it comes to money, it's getting taken care of. Which means now you've got more time for, for love and for, and for fun and, you know, and for healing some deeper inner patterns. I see money and I see deep healing and I see the realization that, like, and, and some of you already have that and some of you are expanding that and working with that, that you are the magic. You are the magic. And you are unlocking this magic right now. And that's what's so beautiful. Your life's about to get so much better, confirmed here by the star energy. Your life is about to get so much better. Um, challenges and um, all kinds of things that maybe seemed like you could never work through it. They're falling away because you no longer need them. Okay. So that's what I got for you, beautiful Geminis. I hope that that helps. Um, for any of you that want to gain deeper insight, you can book a personal reading with me. The details are down below in the description. Um, there's a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free oracle card reading course. And also, if any of you are interested in enhancing your life really greatly through past life regression, there's a little bit of a description as well as a link that you can click on down below as well. From my heart, namaste, love and light. I'm Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. Until next time.